I am so much thinking about capital C Calder, you know, out of love. One of my happiest moments is that in this show, we've uh, actually found a new distance between us and Calder. You organize them in a predetermined space. You created vessels for holding them and presenting them and engaging them and creating a, a new way for us to approach them and engage them. You know, there's a point in doing this where I felt this is, this is brand new, what we're doing. By just the thinking, the taking the time, you know, placing of the work, that it reveals itself. I mean, because good art is endless. You created a, a seven-sided vessel that was full panels up and then you started flopping them down yeah. and creating these openings. They're not even piercing, they're just openings. You left them as, I mean, th these doors are just flopped down and screwed together and a little bit scary to put the calders on there. You put four black sculptures together that all overlap. None of them have a unique view without something else in the view. This never happens. You know? Yeah. And so the amalgam of experiences is totally different than in the normal, you know, the museumological kind of process. Here I'm having an experience of looking. This is to me the apex of the show. You know, the pavilions function as frames. Right. And, and, and I know enough about frames that, you know, a terrible frame hurts the art. And actually an excellent frame, you can see more than you can without framing. How is an artwork supposed to, to find its, and, and, it, and I'm not saying there's some dead end or something, it's a continuous thing. The best of worlds, we've made the visceral fluid, and it's in honor of, of your grandfather, really.